I've kind of gone off sushi, to be honest, but it, it would always be like a spicy tuna roll, some kind of yellowtail carpaccio thing with jalapenos on it. Anything spicy, and I'm kind of, I'm all in for it. Um, even like sea urchin or uni. Isolation. I don't know, I think honey is best used for kind of a granola -y yogurt breakfast. Always run at an incline of 2%. Neither really, I don't want to look at my past and um, I don't want to know my future. I'd like an endless supply of Radicon wine. Um, the biggest difference for me between the uh, the UK and the US is probably the kind of the outlook on life. I feel like US people are a lot more positive, possibly less stoic and a bit more, yeah, optimistic. I think playing First Avenue last time was pretty cool. Just all the kind of, you know, the, all the stars on the wall of all the artists that have played there over the time. It was a great to be a part of that, you know, history. Um, and I've all, we've always had great shows here, even when we first came in like 2008. It's kind of been, to me, Minneapolis seems like a kind of, I, I don't know the size comparisons, but it feels like a kind of slightly smaller Chicago. Like everyone's extremely friendly and it just feels good to be to be here. I have like a vocal zone to kind of <clears throat> warm my voice up a bit. And then um, we all we always like hug and shake, uh, shake hands in a very formal way before uh, we go on stage. But apart from that, there's no, sometimes it's good to kind of get the, the blood flowing, doing some press ups or Dan will be doing some yoga things or anything really to get the blood from below the waist and up into the chest. <laughs> well, average people are can still, well, I don't really understand what an average person is. Everyone has their own little brand on them that is that makes them beautiful in one way or another and each one of those people has the opportunity and the ability to get close to another person and fuck their lives up completely. So. Um, I guess as far as I'm concerned, everyone has something beautiful about them. So I don't really know what an average person is. Apart from our tour manager, he's probably a, an average person or just slightly below average person. Well, there's Murphy's Law. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong. I've spent a lot of time in my head envisioning all the kinds of awful shit that could happen in my personal life, career, whatever, and it, it never actually happens. But the curse of the wombats is very, very different to that. The curse of the wombats is that whenever anyone kind of enters that sphere for a little while, some bad shit always happens to them. But it doesn't necessarily mean that us as the wombats are gonna get, um, that, that we're having like a terrible time. It's more that what happens when people come in and out of tours, something, some, there's some kind of weird shit going on. Maybe we form the band on some Indian burial ground or something. It's not the openers, it's more, it's more crew that work with us. Yeah, two, bu well, technically three buses involved in the first week. Like just shit breaking down and um, there's been a lot of other kind of darker things, but yeah, there is, we do joke about the curse of the wombats. Uh, what can't I get out of my head? Just a load of nonsense thoughts, really. Anxious thoughts about, oh, the gig's going to be shit and I'm going to sing out of tune and all that stuff. I haven't seen anyone do a rendition of a Wombat song that I've ever liked. Um, it just, it, I don't know what it, I don't know why I want people to enjoy our music and play it and stuff, but whenever I watch it, I'm like, ah, I just get this bizarre sensation. Yeah, that's fine. There was, um, oh, there was a band who did one for moving to New York, which was amazing. They did a remix and put a video to it, and it was just all this like, um, time-lapse stuff around Brooklyn and it was so cool and the remix was really cool um, but like fans playing stuff in their bedroom I, it always freaks me out although I want them to do it it freaks me out no 
Now this is good. Oh no, this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. <laughs> Have you seen this? It's brilliant. Oh, I love how the hands are still in the shot as they're throwing the wombat up. <laughs> People need to make more wombats related content like this. That's really, really good. That's great. 